the beginning or since up the past. Okay, let's let's do it for real though. Like the recap. Uh, when was the last time you you were a part of it, Levi? I can't remember. We was fighting on the bridge. Okay, we killed them except for one guy, the bandit chief. Right? Okay. He lies to us and he said that he had befriended Felden and that he uh, was nervous about asking for medicine because they were all dealing with some sort of weird plague. And so they thought it was a great idea, instead of being virtuous and asking us for help, that they would just attack us and steal what we had. And so for some reason we forgave them. I don't know why. And we gave them some stuff to fix their uh, their ailment, which was King's Foil. Did but we found out the entire the entire to town is full of Looney Tunes people. They have the uh, they have the cumulative intelligence level of a, a, a of a cricket, which is probably about 0.5. Um, and and um, it, it basically took the DM railroading us to keep us from killing all of them. And so we decided we were going to get out of town, and uh, the leader of the, the town, who is just as loony as the rest of them, was yelling, Wait, stop! I have important information for you! And we just blatantly ignored it and kept running. Then we encountered this lonely <laughs> um, hermit elf guy who was yeah. a spur-of-the-moment thing because Chris was not prepared for it, and we completely abandoned what he had prepared. And we uh, bugged him for a little while. I made friends with him, and he said I was the nicest dwarf he ever met. Uh, and then we went on <laughs> to the next part, which I will let Chris describe. But I've gotten you up until the session before last week. So at the session last week, what happened was uh, all you guys decided to continue the path that you intended to go down. And the thing is, the map that you had did not prepare you to realize that there was a huge, ginormous swamp uh, presence. Uh, I'm getting a message from Shadow. I That's can't the, you, you, you Disregard. Got <laughs> it, got it. Disregard. Okay, but uh, there's, there's a huge, ginormous swamp that was not even remotely on the map. But it, it's on the different map, actually, that I've been looking at. So I've been. At, so what you guys have is a general map, and the map that I use is actually a topological, more up to date map. Oh wow. Mm hmm. So you guys went through a ginormous swamp that took several days to uh, to skirt around. Uh, the, the swamp gave you a little bit of an issue, quite simply because one mud and uh, two uh, bug bites. And uh, even though I used repellent, which was annoying, yep, yep. <laughs> through, through ingenious use of various repellents and methods to clean the wagon and sheer strength of the dwarves pushing the wagon, uh, you, you got out of the swamp and you just, like I said, skirted around the swamp, which unnecessarily took more time. Uh, but yeah, it, it it was a huge swamp. Uh, no one goes through it. Mute points uh, because you guys went around the swamp, found yourself next to the river, uh, and decided to continue just making sure that the river was always to your left. And then uh, you guys suddenly came down with uh, fever. And it's like, oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah. Those mosquitoes. It didn't carry that we use bug spray on. Uh, of course they carry disease. You didn't use bug spray. You you literally yeah, we, uh, like we sprayed up, sprayed we sprayed up, up your mouth vinegar. The... Yeah, bug spray. <laughs> it was DIY but... bug spray, but it was a spray for bugs. <laughs> it's vinegar spray. That <laughs> you, never mind. Um, but uh, you you guys got a little bit sick. You overcame the sickness through some good usage of the materials that you already had, and uh, and uh, you, you got some fishing done. You restocked some, some, some of your supplies. Yep, you restocked some of your supplies. Made some fantastic foods, and then this. Started traveling once again. Uh, Ozan Adele is actually a lot bigger than you guys thought it was. 
because uh, the the thing is, when you look at the map, the the river splits. There's a fork in the river as it goes a little bit north and a little bit south. The south part of the river eventually disappears, but it basically curves and is pointing towards the the mountain pass. Whereas the north river uh, that separates eventually connects to the lake in front of Moria. Uh, you, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But if you were to follow the north side of the river, there's an actual path. There was an actual road on the north side of the river. If you followed that road, you would have eventually got to to Moria. Uh, but you stayed on the south side, which led you to the the mountain pass, which was actually not a not not Osin Adele, but just a incidental small part of Osin Adele. The entire region is Osin Adele because Osin Adele was a massive city, huge city of the elves. Um, uh, it's like Alvond, who is the guy that is up in Riverdell. He used to live in this in Osin Adele. Uh, the one lady whose name I always butcher, Dan. Uh, Galadriel. Thank you, Galadriel. Okay. She was the queen of Osinadel back when it existed. I... So the ruins oh. is everywhere. Um, so you guys were skirting the ruins and uh, on your way south from the ruins. Uh, not really south from the ruins, but on your way south with the ruins to your left, uh, heading towards the mountain pass, uh, you guys heard some galloping off in the distance, and lo and behold, hey, those are black figures. Oh, uh, those are reading rates. Uh, and uh, you guys decided to hide problem. a little bit. What? That is problem. Yeah. This is uh, problem, so yes? You, yeah, so you saw the ring wraiths, it's like, ooh, so you decided to hide from the ring wraiths, and uh, one of the ring, well, so all nine of them, like, galloped past you guys, they they didn't care about you at all, but one did decide to look in your direction, so uh, one of them just looked at you, he didn't even do anything, he just looked, and uh, Gary, uh, Dan's Gary, was incredibly terrified and decided to run away. Lucky we had some smart people who decided to immediately put down Grease, which slowed Gary down just enough that he got back into his right state of mind. And when he turned around, the the, the, the ring race were already well past you guys. They, they, they don't care about you. They, 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 they have a mission. It's almost as if their intent is to get to Bree, and then maybe from Bree to the Shire, because maybe they know there's a particular item over there? No, that couldn't possibly be it. I'm just Not imagining just putting down Grease, like bringing in Quicksilver for, or, or the Flash with a Grease gun, and like running over there and quickly squirting on the ground. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's some cold on a budget cut. <laughs> it's a normal time, and then I oh. land on the Grease and swoop! <laughs> so you guys continue going south and eventually uh, you did a left turn which allowed you to see the mountain pass before you and uh, there was something odd about the mountain pass there was a, a literal like 20 foot cliff it's like great how in the world are we supposed to go up there oh uh, let's use a rope trick spell so you use a, a little spell from uh Squidward's uh, little uh, <laughs> it's Sigmund. Sigmund magic set. Sigmund, I know. Actually, I I forgot. Uh, Sigmund's uh, collection of magic and and the block ended... and tackle. The block yeah, and tackle exactly. was also used. <laughs> and we 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 ended the campaign session last week with you guys, all of you, all the equipment, the horse, the pony, all of you are now. On top of the cliff, then you turn around. And one so, quick organizer note, even though I'm not the DM, there is a link to join. Chris, I sent you a message, uh, and I can't show the actual players the stream because they will see secrets uh, that I know because I'm the organizer, but I am uh, restraining the meta knowledge. Um, 
So if you want to see the battlefield, please click the Roll20 link. It is in the chat. Um, I'm also going to leave that meme in general. <laughs> You're going to leave a meme in general? Myself. How, how, how do I hide the name so I minimize uh, Yeah, general. Um, uh, I, I hate trackpad. I could hide the me the names if you want. I figured I'd put them there for the short term so that people would know which tokens there are, they are. Um, I want to know if, who I am. No, 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 I I mean like uh, so I got you, I get Randy, I got myself uh, in like oh. big giant pictures. I'm trying to remember. I, I oh, I'll teach you how I get rid of the pictures. Uh, on the right hand panel, go to the gear in the top right. Ah. Oh. Oh, and then yeah. it's uh, under question. audio and video, and you want to click. Uh, oh wait, is it audio? Yes, and it. then you then go to video display tab within audio and video, and you want to choose player video avatar sizes names only, and I like to have it set at the bottom. And then once you do uh, that, it'll get really good. small. Okay, somebody got oh, my. Wait, I got was it. trying to get my attention. Yeah, nope. uh, my mouse is just stopping because I'm on a trackpad and it's glitching out. <laughs> I can. Uh, oh, we can move you for you. We can facilitate uh, the movement you need. Now I probably shouldn't stream because I got the GM view, so I'm gonna close the stream. If somebody wants to stream for his sake, please do so. <laughs> Why are you doing what you are doing, you stupid piece of hardware? <laughs> uh, uh, I've got a question yeah, real quick. Yeah. Um, uh, when we level up, when we level up, we heal to full, right? Yeah, I believe so. I believe that's what Chris wants. Uh, the last thing we did before leveling up was took a long rest, so it should be fine. Yeah. Oh, anyway. good point. Oh, okay. and, 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 and not only did you took a long rest, but you took 29, or not 29, 21 different long rests. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We're very well what rested. the hell? Um, I have a question. Since I'm not actually playing, but yet I want to see the map and keep track of what's going on. I'm sharing the map. Thank you. There's some very interesting sounds coming from Tim. Uh, I've got people so in the hallway trying to move straight to the background. Oh, okay. that makes sense. It, it sounds like a fan. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if it's only going to take a don't, don't worry about it. My computer is glitching out and having a seizure, and I'm not able to do anything. <laughs> uh, do you I, want me I, I to? May, I may like. I may actually need to drop out of this session. It's that bad. Did okay. you want to try uh, restarting and rejoining when you can? Yeah, I might. Okay. Yeah. So do do a hard reset, uh, and that doesn't work. Then maybe use your yep. phone, or uh, it, it's okay. Okay, your floor, Chris. <laughs> well, I I'm gonna wait for Tim a little bit. I wondering if he's doing the hard read stuff because he's still in. Uh, I think he restarted, but Discord doesn't show that you've disconnected until about a minute has passed. Yeah, that's something I didn't know. Okay. Um, okay. so it it probably won't update for a minute. So, you guys are over the cliff and what you see before you is a continuation of the ruins so you've been avoiding the ruins but now in order to get through the mountain pass you have to go through the ruins there's a lot of trees there's a lot of growth and vegetation even more so than out in the plains uh but the uh the, the fact that you have to go through the ruins is interesting because in the past, in the last several days, when you were traveling through the ruins, you have felt a slight bit of emptiness. The, these ruins have not been I mean, occupied. 
in a long, long <laughs> time. And it's almost as if that is intentional. So as you're going through, you get that feel of dread, but it, it's the, it's not the dread of you're being attacked, but more like a dread of the type of dread you may experience if you're walking through a dark valley. You don't know what's there. You don't know if something may get at you. There, it is complete emptiness. There is no birds chirping. There is no uh, uh, noises coming from rodents or such. The typical noises you experience. You know this place. Something isn't quite right. It is almost as if the hands of the Valor themselves had decided to not even remotely touch this land. Uh, that Valors are basically like the godlike beings. They're the ones that sent the wizards in the first place. As you traverse down a the, the, the wide open path that is before you, you turn, uh, 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 oh, you, you, you see this building that's in your way, and you get around the building. And as you get around the building, you see a very interesting sight before you. What you see before you on the screen, a downed pillar in the middle of the open <laughs> field. And see, this pillar is a <laughs> massive pillar. Beautiful uh, drawing. It, <laughs> Thank you, I made it myself. Yeah, he, he, the diameter of the pillar is taller than all of you. So it's a, it's a pretty decent pillar that you can use for full cover if you're behind it. You also see... Suspicious. Uh, you also see two goblins. Right there. And right there. Now these two goblins are not facing your direction. They, they seem to be facing your direction. They will when the battle begins. But uh, they, they're looking down and are like kicking the rubble underneath their feet, almost as if they're just looking for like who knows what. The goblins, you don't know what they what's in their minds, and they're, they're like speaking in uh, dark tongue, uh, foul tongue. They're speaking, uh, but uh, their attention has not been gravitated towards you. Now there is an open path. To your right, there's a open path to your left with a couple of steps. You don't know what's uh, to the left and to your right. You just know that there's open paths. You also know that there's an open path to the north. And it seems to be of the same condition the road you are in. This is the official road. And if you look to your left and your right, you see big, massive cliffs of the mountain. So you know that the only way out is forward. If you go left, you go right, you may go into the trees, you may go around the ruins, but forward is the way to go in order to leave. Now, you, you hear a slight noise, say, what's your passive perception, everyone? Ten. Perception. Ten. Perception. Perception. I don't perceive anything. In fact, I don't even know why I'm saying this. Perception? perception? Yeah, passive. Passive perception. Passive. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. Sixteen. Ooh. 16. Okay. Did you level so your question? wisdom? <laughs> I did. <laughs> there you go. Smart. Wise. <laughs> yes, wise, actually. So, Felden, you have an understanding that that sounds like a mighty beast of some sorts that might be sleeping nearby and you're looking left and right and you don't see anything until Gary looks up and he sees a sleeping red dragon. It's kind of funny when Tim made this comment, it's like, <laughs> okay, we're getting a dragon. <laughs> There's a sleeping red dragon at the very top of this tall building. It is, it is a pillar that he is on top of. It feels like it is leagues above you. But he is looking 
not really at you guys, but his head is facing in this general direction over here. But, but he is sleeping. Now, at this time, no one knows that you guys are here. You, you've gotten pretty close, but not close enough. The wind is blowing <laughs> in your direction, not towards the goblins nor the dragon. Although that might suddenly change. Before we get into battle, before I ask you to roll for initiative, first I ask, what do you do? I say we should all make a bunch of stealth checks. Um... Oh dear, I have armor on. That's going to be terrible. I, I have the very same. <laughs> I'll do it, though. Okay. Sure. Um, I'm all, so that, that was just a suggestion. Don't start what, rolling no. anything yet. Well, I think it's the wise first thing to do. Even though my character is dead, dead average on wisdom, he agrees. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't see any Did reason to start banging things? pots and pans together. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I'll do it. I have to roll at disadvantage, though. So oh my I, goodness! I rolled this. really high. I got a, I got a nineteen with disadvantage. How in the world? Dang. That's never going to happen to Gary Jefferson again. <laughs> all right. So Don't squander this. Through. Do not squander this. It's like a, I could do this oh. once in my life. <laughs> Wait, That's no. not terrible. 10. 25. I got a 10. I did my brain again. 10. Well. Oh. 10's not terrible. 25. Mm-hmm. That's wild, man. He's a ranger. He can do that yeah. sort of stiff. I just got like 10. I just like. <laughs> I'm just like ducking the curve. Very odd. I'm like, you're just. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the wind. Yeah. Must have been the wind. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Never should have come here. Okay, you're like a fish. <laughs> So, so uh, what, what was your stealth rules again? There was a 19. 19? Uh, uh, Felton. Okay. 10. And Gary. 10. 10? Okay. And I rolled um, for the horse. The horse. I, I think the horse got <laughs> like a plus one to dexterity. I think. But you know that. If I wasn't to add, he got a 13. Uh, without modifiers. He got pretty good. That's pretty good. And I'm just going to. And I'm just gonna leave Sigmund inside the carts. Okay. So, so his stealth is gonna be alongside the horse. That is until Tim <laughs> shows up. Yep. Um. The, the 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 horse doesn't care. It's like these are just goblins. But actually, you know what? The horse. I'm gonna see the horse or the pony. Yeah. The ho actually, the horse is a little bit freaked. Uh, because um, yeah, dragon. The horse is gonna need your guys' help, uh, but I'm gonna have Sigmund lead the horse. So, okay. but the, the, the horse is a little bit freaked out. But yeah. So, can I um, argue? Uh, horses usually hold their composure pretty well. They might get spooked, but they might not run or whinny if they see something that they're scared of. Yep. Yeah, uh, that this horse is not going to do anything that will intentionally cause a dragon to recognize it. Hmm. Which means okay. it might be a little bit stubborn for its own safety. It also knows that it really can't run away because it's connected to... It's a smart horse. The the, the horse has really passed its uh, wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we got the horse we did, eh? <laughs> so what we are we? Are we? What we are we looking for? Quiet, right. Gary. There's a there's a dragon up there. Very quiet. I'm the one who noticed it. <laughs> remember, remember that one time when we were hunting rabbits, and I told you to be quiet because I was hunting rabbits. Be even quieter than that, okay? Oh. So, with that, <laughs> what do you guys intend to do now that you rolled stealth? All right, I'm gonna lean over to my comrades. Okay, 
I don't think fighting engaging those goblins would be a good idea, given that it would probably be very loud. So I'm going to scout around over to the right, and I'm going to gesture off to that little, um, the, 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 this little pathway over uh, here. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, yep. I'll move you so that way you can look in, but at the same time, everyone can see you. Do you want to go in farther? Can I make a oh, wait, quick pony. mention or uh, can I say something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Gary is not stoked about fighting a dragon, so he would not want to stay in the open. He'd probably want to get into undercover. He doesn't really mm -hmm. care left or right, but he's concerned Go about the wagon and the horses at the same time. <laughs> uh, and, you know, he's not the smartest, uh, light bulb in the tool shed, but, um, he does realize that moving the horse and the cart is going to make noise is going to get the goblins mm -hmm. uh, attention so does he have any did he have any opportunity to maybe react before they got close enough for the goblins to be within earshot or did we just suddenly happen upon them so fast that it we're, we're well, at this distance be, be, because you're stealthing there is a possibility of that. Uh, hmm. While we're at it, uh, can can you do something for me with regards to the pony? Make it so yes. that way I can... Uh, oh, I forgot it. to set control on there. There you go. Actually, I uh, an idea. Hey, Felton, <laughs> are you riding your pony? Mm. He's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Felton has a tactical snack. A snacktical. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some raccoon jerky, I bet. <laughs> Eli liked that one. <laughs> That's the kind of thing he would coin. <laughs> you go down. Did you trip? Self. No, oh. it's a snack to the self. Capital combat roll. <laughs> <laughs> On a chicken. <laughs> Are you going to do it on the pony, though? Um. Uh. Um, probably. I'm actually reconsidering what I want to do. Um. The only thing I can think of to do is lead the horse, is lead the pony or something like that. So I have a uh, fog cloud that I can cast. Oh, that's amazing. But but before, I just need you to tell me what you plan on doing with the pony, because that will help right. me understand if I pony. want... Okay, so I'm going to put you down here and just use the pony as your icon. <laughs> okay, so when you get around the corner, you realize that it's a dead end. Uh, there is, like... A couple of holes in the ground that seem to go to caverns underneath the ruins, but they're like small holes and whatnot. Hmm. Interesting. Um, is it, am I, is it safe to assume that, uh, that each of these hexes is five feet? Yes. So all measurements are accurate? Okay. Um, I would like to cast Re remember. Fog. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I was gonna do a reminder that uh, when it comes to movements, uh, each what I like to do is each square is you moving five feet. So if you have a 30, 30 moving speed, then you move six squares. And that's why, okay. that's why I over overlaid the hexagon grid this time so that it would be less. Confusing when it comes to diagonals. Thank you. Yep. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so I would like to create a fog cloud centered on. Um, right yeah, there. Yeah. The, 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 I could. Point right here. I can okay. do a lingering circle to help you figure out how big you want it. Yeah. Like, like that. 
Is that yeah, correct? It's, it's 20 feet. Yeah, it's a 20 yep. foot radius. Yep. There we go. Okay. Uh, is that uh, the location uh, you want it to, to be? Um, that hits both goblins. I don't know, guys. Well, well, what do you think? I think that's wise. It's, yeah. Okay. It'll keep... You, it might... It, while the goblins are busy groping around in the fog, you could, like, sneak past them, I would think. Yeah. Uh, hey, Dawson. Uh, for the sake Definitely. of the battle, all conversation with regards to their plans is in-game. Uh, in that they're between characters, not between players. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Okay. So, so communication with regards to your guys' plans uh, is going to be between characters. Okay. Oops, I can't do that. You won't be able to see it. Yeah. There you go. If you want it gone, just let me know. Okay. So, I'm going to make my way back over here to the party. Okay, I have uh, created a f cloud of fog around the goblins. Now, fear not. Uh, I have trained myself extensively to be able to see and uh, m move around inside of densely fogged areas. So just, yeah. I will lead, you follow. Yeah. And Are you not trained to walk in densely fogged areas? Well, here's the problem. Because you decided to do that, the two goblins are now screaming, and now you got to roll for initiative. <laughs> Man, it's just fog. Stupid exactly. things. That's why they're screaming. It's like, where did this come from? Oh, I'm not seeing my hands. Stupid things. <laughs> Twelve. Write down your numbers. Okay. And um, let's uh, see. Can you do a goblin? Yeah, I'm not oh. sure why I can't select them all of a sudden. Very weird. Did you move them to a different layer? Oh, no. I'm, oh, uh, no. I think I moved them to the map layer. Thank you, Eli. You know what? How about this? Don't, don't do a Felden. Fel Felden's name is now the monsters. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I figured it out, but but uh, that could work as an alternative. I had accidentally sent them to the wrong layer with the circle. Uh, so if we go, okay. I think y'all can adjust all of the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one for the monsters. <laughs> you got... Why does the pony? Oh, you're, you're using the pony for him. That makes more sense. I was very confused. I also I got a nat one. The pony had twelve for initiative. <laughs> What's your dex modifier then? It is plus two. Same for the goblins. Let me look at the dragon. It's a zero, so yours has priority. Okay. Do you want the dragon on initiative? No, no, no. Dra See, the, the, the goblins just represents all monsters. I'm just going to have all the monsters move at once. Because it's oh. easier that way. Okay. Should I get rid of the Z's? Is he no longer sleeping? Uh, he's still asleep. <laughs> he's asleep. He, he's, the, the, well, actually, I might have to drag in his own initiative, but he's not in the battle. So oh. he has no initiative. He's in a roll sleep I'll, check. I'll have to drag it when he wakes up. If he wakes up. <laughs> Is that a Freudian hey, slip? Golden. <laughs> golden. Is a Sigmund Freudian slip? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and golden. I'm going to roll for Sigmund. Hey, you're done! Get back here! Uh, give Sigmund a 12. Uh, actually, okay. Felton, uh, yeah, give him a 12, but Felton has a higher 12. Okay. So give Felton a 12.1. Is but... he <laughs> pony? Okay. Yeah, he's the pony now. All right. Felton, you're a pony. Now, pony up. That was the best. Pony up. 
Apparently, I was a druid the entire time. Why do you have a milk mustache? I thought because I was drinking milk. Oh, okay. Uh, I want a root beer. So because you both beer. have a plus two, uh, I'm just gonna have you go before the goblins, okay? Because the goblins got caught off guard, and you weren't, so I'll let you go before the goblins. I mean, the goblins so, don't even know we're here. No, mm. they don't, but they know something's up. So, Bodie, you haven't done us a good deal here, given that we can't seem to even walk in close enough to fight him, given we can't less enough see him. Let's run away! <laughs> I can see. I didn't think they'd start screaming. <laughs> but, battle has begun. So, we begin with Smart Gary. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Being in front of me. Uh, uh, you got the, you got uh, the you go through, you got the path to your left, the path to your right, path around. There's a big pillar, you know, there, but you <laughs> you, you may run into the pillar if you go through the, the fog. Gary, can you just go bang away? <laughs> just, just stick to the outside. Right. So I'm just gonna. I'm, oh, I gotta swap things over. Let me see. Boop. And just move. <laughs> yeah, that's 25 feet. Wait, no, I can move 30 feet. That's right. Yeah. I, remember these things. I only have 25. 25. I must not have. Interesting. But I'm a mountain dwarf, so I'm different. Uh, okay, give me half a second to learn how to. There we go. There we go. Next. <laughs> Go. Well, well, well don't, don't forget you got actions, a bonus action, and for your action, you, you can, dash. can choose to dash or dodge, if you want to dodge. Uh, those who are, there's just a lot of actions you can pick that are not combat related actions, but right now, yeah. dashing or dodging is probably your best bet. Do you know what dash and is, what? Levi? I don't know either. <laughs> you can, it, so it uses up your action and it gives you another movement speed. So you could go another 25 yeah. feet if you want. Well, 30 oh, feet for him. Or 30. Yeah. Well, my, what's mine? Th I gotta check my movement speed real quick. Just to. I'm used sure to everything, everything being 30, but mine is 25. Yeah. Right. And now I gotta figure out where my. Yeah, mine's uh, 25. Get myself back there. Okay. Jesus. Forget uh, that. I'm a. I'm a dwarf. How so dwarven legs. They're strong, but yep. they're small. <laughs> I, I got I got overconfident in my running ability. <laughs> run it back, run it back. Count the squares. That that's right though. I would, but I don't have eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now we go to the pony. pony. So Felton, <laughs> we go to Felton. All right. Pony time. Okay. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, over here, and I have blind sight within ten feet, so I can see that guy. Um, I'm going to assume, following stealth rules, that I am unseen by him until I attack. Uh, so I'm going to attack him. Steady, steady. Yep, uh, do with advantage. Yep. I can't see Hans, can't see like, can't see stuff! Where am I? Where am I? What is that? Uh, 24. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that does not that, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> what is this got from where? Um Yes. And then uh so that's six damage. Six damage. Uh, uh six he, he piercing damage. He, uh, you, you see, or you feel, I don't know, but, uh, he, he collapses on the ground, but you can still hear, like, the breath coming out of him. So he almost died there. Okay, well, it's, uh, fortunate that that's a light weapon, because for my bonus action, I will be attacking him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know where that beast came from, but that almost killed 16. me. 
What? 16. That also hits. Don't, don't roll for damage, because he only has one HP. He's oh. like, oh, fuck it, fuck it. What was that? <laughs> Jerry? Jerry, oh. are you alive? How far did, hold on, how far did I move, Ken? Because I can move after I've, uh... Oh, yeah. Jerry, is he alive? You have the movement speed of the horse, don't you? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, which is 40. Oh, nice. which is 40. Okay. Yeah, so, so you get 20 extra. Have... 40 more. What does the average D&D goblin sound like? Like this. <laughs> I liked the way that Levi did it. <laughs> not Elmo. It does not sound like Elmo. <laughs> get that image out of your head right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sound like this. No. If if he sounds like Elmo, then gnomes sound like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> like Elmo, but grapplier. Like Elmo's been smoking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <so. laughs> Shane Smoker Elbow. <laughs> yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's, that's that, that ends your turn. Now <laughs> both your action bonus action moving speed. Yes, so yes. now oh, it sorry, is sorry, Sigmund. Sigmund is controlling the carts, uh, and he's going to. Don't run me over. I'm just, I'm just gonna have them control the cart. Um. Watch where you're driving, um, Hobbit! Two, you almost three, hit me! Four, five, six. Okay, good. Uh, so. I might need to give you permission to change that one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he goes around you and goes up. And ends right there as the horse is like sticking his head in. It's like, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> uh, thus ending his turn with, uh, I'm just gonna have the horse uh, uh, do the action of dodge. That's oh. fair enough. What does dodge mean? Now you dodge when tied to a cart, we'll never know. <laughs> just lowering its head when an arrow flies over it or yeah, something exactly. like that. We'll see. The well, see, the small goblin, so he just lifts up his hoof. It's like, that, ah, you miss. That, ah, you miss over there. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Guy's turn comes up, and he decides to dash. And he gets over here, and then he ends his turn. So when Gary gets over there, what he sees before him is another rock formation. He could go left, and he could go right. So he, sees, he sees a couple of trees, and he notices that when he gets around this building, it gets dark. But there's a path. Guys, there's a way! And that's all he can say in six seconds. Ah. It's not very, very clear, but he shouldn't be because it's a free action. <laughs> so you know the way. Oh, the way. The way to Uganda? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And now it is the goblin's turn. Okay, now that noises have been, uh, had, goblin starts showing up. The goblin shows up there. Uh, Where? Can I get... Uh, I just moved one of the dead goblins. Can we get another goblin to be placed... I don't like going back and forth, but yeah. Uh, place lights... Uh, there. Yes, sir. There you go. Another goblin up there. Another one. Another one. Okay. Oh, those are goblin and... holes. Yeah, the goblin holes. Another the ubiquitous goblin, goblin hole. So, uh, to to each of the five goblin holes, we're, we're spawning a goblin. So, to the other two, also put down one. So, I'm identifying one of the goblin holes for you. 
There we go. And then the last goblin hole. Once upon a time in a hole. There we go. So Not a nice, gone. clean hole, but a dirty hole full of nasty, slimy things. It was, in fact, a goblin hole. <laughs> Garbages! <laughs> we're we're <laughs> subverting your hobbit hole expectations with goblin hole talk. <laughs> so, uh, from Felton's perspective, you hear... Gaga, did you hear that? Where are you? No, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, there's a what is this? It's a small toy. Get out of the way. He just like blindly like stabs at uh, whatever is in front of him. Uh, does ah! Elf uh, hit you, Felton? Uh, me or the pony? Uh, <laughs> he's short, so he's actually going after the pony. He, he can't get you. Okay, let me... Got the pony think, stat. Yeah, let me grab the pony yeah. stats. Uh, an eleven. No, twelve. There's twelve hit. Oh. Yes, that 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 hits the pony. Ah! He, he he stats out in front of him whoa, and whoa, whoa, whoa. He... Did he. Okay, question, question, question. Yeah. Did did was that with disadvantage, or because like he's still in the fog, right? He's still in the fog. Good point. Good point. Okay, he misses. <laughs> uh, and this guy, who, who got out of the hole, is like... Ah, smelly fuck! He goes over to S Smart Gary and attacks you. Uh, uh. Misses. But then you Ooh. uses his bonus action. So this guy sees you, so he uses his bonus action to disengage. As he moves five feet away from you. It's like, ah! <laughs> and that concludes all the turns of the goblins because the other goblins don't see anything. This one, especially, he just sees a big giant fog. He hears things. Mm. He's like, oh, I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going gonna... to. You know why? He doesn't know. So he's going to stay put. And that concludes their turns. Smart Gary, your turn. Uh. I have been summoned. Um, obvious good choice. Uh, I, I'm guessing you're playing music, Dan. Is it too loud? It it no. sounds like a fan. Yeah. What is going on? It works every other video call I'm in. Are you guys nuts? Yeah, Are you lying cool. to me? Here we go. Here I can we go. hear it. I can hear it, but there we go. I'm, there I'm we just go. Gonna, I'm just gonna approach here. And by the way, I was kidding. Gonna... You guys would never lie to me. <laughs> we would never, Dan. We're gonna do hand axe time. So let's see. Are you First... coming towards me? No. <laughs> uh, it's a JoJo joke. JoJo joke. Right. I How can't I catch you without you approaching? Without getting close My first. <laughs> Hit DC is 17. I'm, I'm going to assume he's not made of like ebony armor. Uh, he actually does have armor on. He's wearing leather armor and he does have a shield. But you still hit him. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Because my internet just went out. <laughs> he actually does have armor. He's wearing leather armor and he does have a shield in his, uh, in his arm. He's surprisingly left-handed, so he has a shield in his right hand. <laughs> okay, well, does a 17 hit? Uh, yes, it does. How do I decrease the volume of the music? I'll do it for you. Just run down, man. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so the first hit will do... 5 damage. Okay. Five damage, and if it seems like I'm yelling, it's because the music is loud. So right. you can turn me down. I I can talk louder, if you need. So the, the problem is, is from your end. Th there's no way for me to monitor how loud the music's coming through. It does not and facilitate then... that. Okay. Right. Let's see, and then for my second attack, it'll do eleven to hit. 
Uh, that actually misses. Okay. Like, that works for me. <laughs> for, for a challenge rating of one fourth, these guys have ridiculous AC. Okay. Maybe the AC is ridiculous, but like one of them almost went down in one hit, so. True. They, they have crap for HP. Yeah. So oh. I can go ahead and use my second win here just because I want to see if I can get it dead. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Using the second win already. I want it dead. Okay. I just want it dead. gone. So the first day, eight for to hit is 13, which is fantastic. Miss. Yep. Second try. Twenty-one. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. I almost had also okay. miss. Like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Seven damage. Oh yeah, this guy's down. He, he's down for the count. Uh, let's if see if I can. I'm gonna move him into the pit. <laughs> he's been put in the void. <laughs> uh, hey Dan, while we're at it, can you make all of the goblins in the pit visible? So if I wanted to move them, I, I know where they are. Sure. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> this is fine. So this is why oh, dynamic know, lighting why exists, actually, so that <laughs> into the future we should set up the dynamic lighting on maps like this so that they don't see all the secrets. <laughs> no, I want them to see the secrets. <laughs> Just because I like that reaction when they saw the gods like, come. Now I know okay. why you mentioned the second win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, just, did you use up all your moving speed? Yeah, yeah. no. I like <laughs> Um, I only moved <laughs> one tile for that, so we're going to go ahead and move the other four tiles to there. Okay. And that concludes your turn. It is now Felden's turn. I roll to attack. Roll to attack. Okay, uh, question. Yeah. Okay, so the goblin walked into the pony and attacked the pony. Uh-huh. So the goblin sees the pony. But does Kinda. it see me on the pony? I, let's just assume that he thinks you're a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 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 I don't get advantage for being unseen. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, my first hit roll is an eleven. That misses. All right. No, wait, 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 wait. This guy doesn't have a shield. Still misses. Dang it. Uh, okay. Oh. Um, two weapon fighting, 19. Oh, that definitely hits. Okay. And, uh, three damage. Three damage, okay. Three uh, piercing. Yeah, see, he's bleeding a little bit. Okay, uh, then... do you want to move or stay put? Because he does have a opportunity attack if you move. Uh, can I move, like, around him? Yes, you without... can move around him with yeah, w without uh, making him have an opportunity attack. That is, that is an option. Correct. Uh, you can go all the way north of him if you so choose to. Okay, yeah, yeah, confuse him a little more. Like, he, he gets slashed at, and then, like, this massive centaur just kind of goes over. Are centaurs even a thing in D&D? Or, no, no sorry, it what are the rings? Well, see, centaurs yeah. don't exist in the medieval world, and yet people believe they existed. And these goblins, their intelligence is, yeah, almost, they're not good. Huh. I believe I should have played a bard. <laughs> I'm a fictional creature in a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> how, sh how how embarrassing! <laughs> so right, that oh, that's the end of my turn. turn. Oh, yes, okay. Sorry. 
The horse is visible from the other goblin. The goblin like sees like the horse beats out of the fog like Bleh! Okay, that concludes Sigmund's turn. Okay. Uh <laughs> so Gary uh is kind of lost and like where did you guys go? And he brandishes his battle axe, his great axe. <laughs> Where are they? I want to smash some skulls. <laughs> and he uh, wanders off this this way. <laughs> he can't find you. He's gonna go fifty feet and get horribly lost. The whole time you hear the shouting as he goes further. Where are you guys? Where I go fight. Where are that goblins? It gets quieter, quieter. <laughs> Yeah. And in this area, it, it's dark. Your visibility is going away. And dark there vision. is rubble there. But Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so <laughs> you can see perfectly all right uh, 60 <laughs> feet away from you. But uh, And that, that allows you to see the rubble that's right here. Uh, it, it's not too big. It's like a foot uh Above the ground, there's another foot above the ground, so it's it's not obstructive. But this thing that you see here, uh, this rectangle that's right next to you, if you uh -huh. ever so choose to hide behind it, you can duck behind it, and it can provide half cover. Ooh. But Excellent. you can't walk over it. You, you're capable of walking on top of it and over it, or using it as half cover. As over here... Uh, it's trees, it's shady, it gets you away from the sun. How yeah. high up is the dragon? The dragon is very high. We'll just say that uh, he is uh, 50 foot high. Oh, wow, that's my entire dash movement speed. Yeah. And I can't climb it, dash, my dash speed, so... <laughs> Even Just if I wanted to. A good dragon. <laughs> well, that's it for this turn. And so now we get to the goblins. This goblin over here sees the horse. It's like, where are you down here? And goblin being goblin, very curious, I cannot grab this goblin. Uh, oh. Here you go. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. He goes up to the to the horse and like tries to chat with the horse, like, <laughs> but doesn't do anything to the horse because he doesn't actually perceive the horse to be threatening. Uh, can you also get the? Get, might as well if you get all the goblins, so I can move them because yeah, I can't move I'm, any of these goblins. I, I'm I'm working on it. It takes about like ten <laughs> seconds per goblin, so you're. Uh, uh, Hang on a moment. Keep on. Just have to bear with me. All right. So while you're doing that, I'll focus on the goblin to the south. The goblin looked at the centaur who went around him. It's like, ah, not your dogs, and tries to stab again. <clears throat> oh yeah, he he missed us again. It's like, ah, stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he uh, tries to leapfrog and gets in front of you. It's like, what? Stop moving. I got you here. Why are you here? What are you? That goblin ends his turn. <laughs> Surprisingly Scottish goblins. Yeah, they, they get angry and suddenly they become Scottish. <laughs> It the happens. Goblin, like, goes to the side. And he's like partying. It's like, Rrr. it's like, go on to the horse. Nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's going off the rails. <laughs> Can't do that goblin about a minute. Uh, 
Outboard! Ha ha ha! There's a goblin that's next to uh, a hole up north. That one's still not working for you? Nah. He's a slacker, just like his father. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, like... What's happening here? Oh, my voice! He ends his turn. Uh, this goblin, I can't move. Uh, I'm not gonna move him, I'm just gonna tell you that he won't move. Okay. And then this goblin, he hears something in the south, so it's like, one, two, jump! Four, five, six. He also has dark vision, so one, two, three, four, it's like... What is that over there? And, and suddenly the, the wind shifts as it's now going northward instead of south. Well, not north because technically you're going east, uh, west to east. So now the wind shifts in favor of the goblins. The goblins are starting to smell you guys. It's like, you smell like a dwarf. And these guys are saying, wait a second. I smell more than horse. Man flesh! <laughs> Man flesh. No, no, I'm still a horse. I'm a horse. What is it? Man flesh. We've pushed up their trail! <laughs> Looks like meat's that back on the menu, boys! <laughs> that goes their turn. I'm wondering if, what, how an orc knows what a menu is. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> all they eat is maggoty bread for three stinking days. How do they know what a menu is? <laughs> more, well, more first we eat heart, heart, then we eat brain, and then next, and we really want to get fancy, we deliver. <laughs> get delivery service. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dan. Uh, Dan, no, no, no. squeeze, but you can squeeze through. And yeah. do, do the yeah. whole meats back on the menu thing, but in Kermit voice. <laughs> Looks like meats back on the menu, boys. <laughs> we oh. we ain't eat maggoty bread, ain't nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. <laughs> That's just plain old wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just a mouthful. <laughs> they are not for eating. Ah. <laughs> They are to go to the White Tower! Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That's fine. So what, what, what I'm gonna do... At least that they concluded their turn, right? <laughs> Thank you, Eli. <laughs> it, it's still Smart Gary's turn. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going ahead. I'm going to move up to here, <laughs> and I'm going to target onto. Uh, we got to learn how to Oops, play this. That game. is very peaceful music uh, for what is a battle. <laughs> if you right, want right. to, you are capable of moving uh, <laughs> this space right here. Uh, wait a second. You, you can't move right here. Because technically the horse isn't occupying that space, only his head. Uh, uh, so you could be perfect. underneath his head and attack the goblin. Okay, that'll work better for me, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So we're gonna go with strike one, and this time we're actually gonna use the correct weapons. Uh, 15 to hit. Oh, that, that, well, we're just gonna, wait, that guy has it, you know, I don't care, he hit, it hits. I don't care. Yippee. Hits. So then that's going to do... Or bludgeoning damage. Ow! Where did you come from? It's like, did, did you just like roll out of the horse's mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the next attack is 20 to hit. That I'm gonna is. make an assumption there. 
Okay, the damage for that is seven. He drops dead. Yippee! <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Okay. And Pony uh, Felton's turn. Pony Felton. Cool. Um. Stab. Stab. It is. Stab. <laughs> that's not like a very Eli thing to ah, say. Humans. Why did you say that? What? What was it? An eight. <laughs> You're gonna attempt a second time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Natural twenty. Yeah. Okay. Double the damn. Uh, double. Yeah, just double it. Linguistic tip difficulties. Linguistic difficulties. <laughs> Articulation uh, difficulties. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do the damage. Uh, I, I, I doubled the die. No, no, that's still the same thing. Really? Just, just, just tell me I the damage. I deal two damage. Jeez. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Only a flesh wound. Gary's just on a warpath. <laughs> uh, do you still move? Yeah. Um. And you are uh, capable of guess... moving in between the goblin and the cart. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And that leads to Sigmund, and, uh, yeah, uh, he, he's inside, he, he's hidden in the court, and he's, like, like, moving the range, it's like, why won't you move? Because he, he can't tell, he's in the fog, and the horse <laughs> is, like, looking down at the dwarf in front of him, it's like, okay. <laughs> so the horse isn't moving. So that could okay. be Sigmund's turn. Oh, the horse doesn't know how to sidestep. Okay. Don't Gary. Uh. We're going. What are you guys? I like how uh, he doesn't. I like how he goes further in in the direction that yeah. he did not see them go. So, it, for your sake, right here, that is the corner of the tall building. So that's a wall. You can barely see the yeah. wall, but that's a wall. Yep. I realized that as I was measuring. Um, Gary goes deeper. Okay. Uh, don't forget, if you so choose to, as you get closer to the goblin, you can do the dodge action. Yeah, I like that idea. I think I will. I think okay. I will. And you also okay. hold an action in reserve? Only if uh, I didn't dodge. Is it well, yeah, the answer but, but, is like, yes, but it depends on what the action is. Like, like you can, uh, well, you get to, do, can, can he, like, prepare to attack anything that comes within melee range? Uh, see, that, that's iffy, because the thing is that that's kind of like doing attack of opportunity, except now they're going into your range, because that's what Sentinel does, I believe. The feat, Sentinel. So we gotta be careful that we aren't stepping on bounds into actual feats that exist. Yeah. Lest the feats lose their meaning. So now uh, it is the goblin's turn. Goblin shows up outside this hole. Is there any hurts? Where are you guys? Brothers! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! A cart! Random cart. Fog. Okay. Another goblin shows up out here. Jerry! Jerry! <laughs> What's wrong? One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Dinner! 
He counts his steps as he walks. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> He's marching. What time, three, four? Make sure I'm losing calories, man. <laughs> no one comes out over here. It's like, hey, buddy, what happened to you? Oh, no, buddy, you're dead. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> These are great are goblins. This <laughs> <laughs> did the goblin misses. You peed. Uh, uh oh. It, it helps if I actually click the right button. Yep. Now the goblin shows up from up there. This goblin goes for it. I got you. A dodge. You are for dinner tonight. Uh, that's a a 22, 22 hits. I don't even know what my dodge does. I've never used it. Oh wait, your dodge. Okay, I forgot about that. There's no uh, impose so disadvantage. Does, it does. So that's a sixteen hit. That misses. Ooh, okay, he misses, and he's going to end his turn. Uh, this guy goes for his, like, I got you, one, two, jump, four, five. Oh, well, actually, I'm just going to two, jump, here. four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I love their narration of what they do. It's great. I got you. <laughs> this guy goes forwards. All to the name of evil. <laughs> he misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, Barry, one, three, one, two, three, four. It's all to the name of justice. Justice? <laughs> oh, oh no. They're, they're acting like Team Rocket at this point. No, but that's, a, that's an unnatural 20, so let's see if he actually, <laughs> how much damage he deals to Smart Gary. Uh, yeah, that's only going to be three slashing damage. What was that? Three, three slashing, slashing damage. Three slashing damage okay. to piercing damage. I'm not, ex I'm not exactly and sure. And a fireball into the face. Slash, how slash <laughs> damage is counted. Uh, it, it's stupid damage. It, it doesn't really matter because you don't have any resistances to it. Okay, cool. This guy goes off to the side, it's like, Wow, you're done to him! <laughs> this goblin right here, I can't move, Dan, just so you know. I'm not going to move him, but Which I just want to let you know oh, I can't okay. move him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the dragon, you hear... He snorts a little bit. And that concludes the turn of all the monsters. Okay. Um, I'm assuming I don't have the ability to use like a bonus action to take out my long sword and hit all three. <laughs> no. Now no, it... That's what I figured. Mm. Be too powerful. Uh... I was gonna say something, but it's maybe a little too meta knowledgey. What what weapon do you have? <sighs> so right, I, I I'm using warhammers right now, two warhammers, and then long swords within the inventory, and then I have two. Oh yeah, axes. speaking of which, I forgot to ask. Uh, <sighs> equipment wise, uh, who amongst you has the elven blade? I have the Elven Longsword. Okay, good. But uh, your, your sword was glowing this entire time. Oh, cool. Uh, who has the shield? I think we left it behind. No. I no, 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 I I'm pretty sure we did. I also have the shield. Okay, <laughs> so also Gary shield. also has a shield. So I'm gonna yeah. give a a one free uh, crit for you, okay? Whenever you want to use that crit, okay? Because of what I, you could do with that shield, okay? 
I did not get that because of internet. It, it, through four cameras okay. makes it fun. Time. Okay. Did, do, do you remember what you could do with that shield? No, I can use a shield. That's all I know. He wasn't here for the okay. description of any of the magic weapons. Got it. Okay, so you have the uh, you you have that special shield, and the special mm -hmm. shield, what it does is if you crit, instead of dealing more damage, you can choose instead to prepare your shield, so that way you negate all damage for that turn. Make okay. sense? Yep. And just for the sake of usage, I'm going to give you the opportunity any time in this battle to do an auto crit, but only once. And that okay. auto crit is to only be used to, for the sake of that shield. Okay? okay. Make sense? Okay. So yep. you will not be adding extra damage when you choose to use the auto crit, that one incidental auto crit. You will be choosing to negate all damage with the shield. Got it? Use yes. the smarts. Don't waste it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to use it now. Um, <laughs> so with the fact that I am surrounded, I choose... Pikachu. P yeah. I choose so, you. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm going to make a little bit of a fallback here, and I'm going to use my throwing axes on the one that's on the right. Wait, quick question. Did you disengage? Oh. Okay, explain anything to me. How do I do things? Okay. Action. Okay, so... Disengage is the action you use to make it so that way when you move, there are no opportunity attacks against you. You got three enemies that can all do opportunity attack. He, he might you not move know. Out of range, they can attack. No, opportunity, yeah. opportunity attacks. Okay. When you move in. Yeah. Yeah. But the disengage that. action prevents that from happening. But it is an action. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh. Psh. You can also Make be him. crafty. It's like, roll for cool does work a little bit. Roll for what? Roll for cool. Roll for basically, cool. Okay. Basically, it's so cool that I just let it go. Um. Given the fact that both of them missed and only one hit, can I use an intimidation roll to try to startle them to all back? Okay. Um, do it. Don't do the roll yet. Mm -hmm. Show me or tell me what you do, and that's going to determine the uh, the threshold that you must meet on your intimidation roll. So, after getting hit, just a slight little knock backwards pop in the neck and I'm just going to ready up both of my war hammers just prepared fight as they both leave it simultaneously is that all you gotta do just like raise it just like just that <laughs> anything else that's gonna well, be now you're, now, you're, now you're making me double check myself yeah, I'm giving you the opportunity to decrease the the intimidation threshold a little bit. De did you say decrease the imitation threshold? Yeah, yeah, I'm giving you that opportunity based off what you do. It's like, do, do you? Is there something extra you want to do to intimidate? Or is that all why not do? a little bit of a, why not a little bit of a war cry for that? Okay, yeah, a war cry. <laughs> Ah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that works, that works. Okay, roll for intimidation. You're capable of using your strength. Did you want to use that instead of uh, charisma? Not a chance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I roll... A 21. 
Oh yeah, all three of them are definitely incredibly intimidated. It's like <laughs> they dropped their weapons. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Nice. Yeah. So those, those three like raise their hands. Okay. Goblin, wait, goblins have a concept of surrender. More like self-preservation. <laughs> Fair enough. So they did drop their weapons. Right. So what do you do? You can still move. Oh, I can move. Okay. How fancy. Uh, since they've all dropped their weapons. I... I'm going to assume I don't have to use a disengage action to exit the fight. Correct. To, okay, perfect. Um, let's go one, two, three, four. Let's just go here. I'm gonna leave it there. You see there's a goblin right there. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. And it is now Felton's turn. I am still fighting this one stupid goblin. You are indeed. Stab that He's man. almost dead. Huh? He is almost dead. Oh. Eleven? This is... Eleven. No? No? No. Natural one. <laughs> All <some misses. laughs> Something's not working here. <laughs> no, it's not. I should have just disengaged and then no just I... abandoned him. <laughs> yeah. Or or like I, I should have like hid or something. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Should have just like just... hid back into the fog and then she. You, you can still just abandon him. He'll have attack of opportunity, but with disadvantage. Because of the fog. Because of the fog. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm just gonna uh, ride off. Oh, he misses. He, he misses. Oh, good. I'll just squeeze right past you there. Yep. And he's just left yeah, alone in the fog. Uh, you can still go far if you like. Yeah, but I want to stay there. Okay, okay. Fog. <laughs> Make it so that way your horse is not sticking its head out of the fog. It's like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Sigmund turns like, okay, guess we can go. The, the, the horse, like, walks forwards and, like, just walks past the goblins. It's like, I'm just going to make... Wait a second. I can't move him. There we go. This goblin moves out of the way. As the horse slowly walks past them. <laughs> Ending Sigmund's turn. We now go to other Gary. On his own misadventure. <laughs> uh, Gary disengages 5, 10, 15, 25, and runs 25 feet. Guys, where are you? I can't find you! And when you turn that this corner, you see over here a giant mountain troll. Oh! Oh, that's a big goblin, Andy. Which, which Sigmund also sees. Sigmund sees the mountain troll as well. Which he, he like whispers at the back of the car, like. Psst, psst. Over to Smart Gary. Hopefully, hoping that Smart Gary sees him. Okay, Goblin Cern. This Goblin's like, I gotcha. Goes up, attacks. 
Misses. <laughs> this goblin. Hey! Runs forward. Slams his face into the pool. How much damage does he deal? Kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I can only imagine what he did. Get a load of this. Concussion. So he run. He so he so he's staggering and he's and he's going head first and then he and then he hits and then he hits the pillar with his head straight on. <laughs> <laughs> These guys like go off to the side. Actually, no, no, no. These guys like pick up their weapons. Actually, no, they leave their weapons behind. And they just run away. It's like... <laughs> This guy's like, cowards! One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a one, a two, a three. Uh, another goblin shows up over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's too much. Oh. Here. Oh. Helps if I can move them. There we go. Another goblin shows up. Sees the card, it's like, what? That's, that's not enemy. No more show stuff in the south. He <laughs> just sees the card. Like, there's nothing behind the card. Just a this card. Guy, this guy it's yells, like, it's a battle droid. What the heck? <laughs> this guy yells, coward, but he doesn't move. This guy suddenly sees the horde, just like... He, he, he like, moves over to the side a little bit so he can get a good eye on the horse. He starts laughing hysterically at these three guys, who's like, coward. He's like, I've never seen a horse before. This guy... It's like, come back down! Chase is after you, attacked. Hits. Deal seven slashing damage to dump Gary. What? Uh, what? What yeah. is his attack roll? Uh, he actually rolled a. Uh, it was a twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. That's crazy. Seven slashing. Seven slashing. This guy moves up. He also attacks. That's a mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and then it's like, with the big giant war cry, this guy turns around. And he screams. In, in, in acknowledgement of the war cry, it's like... <laughs> which causes the dragon to wake up. Like, Dang, get rid of the Z's. I need the dragon uh, to be added to the uh, to the turn order. There you go. And we're gonna get, and we're gonna get the dragon ten. Oh, I, I. Yeah, just so you know, I can't change it, so uh, if you can change it to a 10, that'd be grateful. Okay, I will in just a second here. Okay, so I know that that is a 10, and uh, you you guys don't, like, feel anything yet. Yet. But, but the dragon is awake. But it's, it's not his turn yet. Uh, smart scary, your turn. That concludes the goblins. Get dragon is a 10. Smart scary, your turn. Yes, sir. Gonna hit the goblin right next to me to the south for the first being 18 to hit. That's a hit for a lovely eight damage. Dead, dead. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna just right. right. 
quickly just go over here. Do I get to hit after that, given I have the two and yeah. the rather one? Yeah, okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, we'll see, to hit will be 19. Yes. Right, for seven damage. Dead. Also dead. <laughs> and he yells, the centaur is real! <laughs> <laughs> Glad we clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> that will end my turn. Okay, then to your turn. it is now Eli. Melton's turn. Eli's turn. Oh, Eli, I'm back. No. I'm leaving you all again. All right. Uh, okay. I am going to come out of the fog and attack this guy. Okay. Do I uh, do? Do I get any sort of advantage for like appearing from the fog suddenly and attacking? Not really. Okay. You may still just kill him anyways. Isn't there a mechanic for being surprised of disadvantage? Uh, uh, surprise is just for initiative. Uh, Uh, nine damage. There's other times that surprise can happen, but not in this case. Quite simply because you have no clue that that goblin was there in the first place. So why oh. are you going towards the goblin? Because oh. you, you can't see you can't see him. You're in the fog. So when you right. moved out of the fog, then you saw him and went towards him. Okay, so I like went like this and then over here like that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because again, the the fog prevents you from seeing him, so you had no clue he was over there in the first place. I thought I would have heard him, but yeah, okay. That one uh, actually didn't nine, say anything. Nine, nine damage. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Finally, after like <laughs> six turns of trying to kill that one guy. Yeah, that was actually a uh, a mid level boss that you were going against earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, like he killed himself. <laughs> How much, uh... Okay, so I still have twenty feet of movement left. Because whores, I'm gonna yep. move up right behind that pillar yeah. area there. Okay, nice. And wait That's a second, if I remember correctly, I, I keep off. We'll see. You you've been doing uh, attacks uh, with your bonus action as well. Don't right. forget, you can use your bonus action for your mounted pony. Making it so that way he can do a dodge or a disengage action as well. Right. Or dash. So you can use your bonus action to command your opponent to dash, dodge, and disengage. If I commanded my pony to hide, would it use my stealth roll? Well, in, in this case, it'll probably be best that you. Dodge. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, so, um. That's my turn. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like, it's just a horse. No one can see Sigmund inside, he's hiding. <laughs> Sigmund ruled pretty decent on his stealth, and to tell the truth, there's a reason why he's going through all the goblins. These stats are hilarious for the goblin. And that concludes <laughs> Sigmund's turn. And it's now the dragon's turn, so we can get rid of the Z's. As the dragon turns around, stares at the giant uh, troll, and breathe a gigantic fireball, not really fireball, he casts fire, fireball, okay, he doesn't cast fireball, but he breathes a cone of fire that kills, not only the troll, instant kills the troll, but also kills this 
or Goblin down here. Since he's in the way of the code. So yeah, that, that, this troll just, oh. we're actually, you know what? Well, let's just, let you hear the dices as I do some rolls, okay? Let's see if he actually hits the, hits the troll. Um, yeah, that's a hit. He hits the troll and the damage. Let, let, let's do the damage. Um, uh, that's a 2066. You know what? That's too many dice. You know what? Uh, you can do it on roll 20. Yeah, I could, but I don't wanna. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I do 26 of the D6s? I'm doing it for you right now. Your number is... 93. Yeah, the troll's dead. <laughs> the troll's <laughs> like a burnt Chris. And just like fall to the ground <coughs> uh, with a nice whiff of barbecue in the air, and and this sword falls <laughs> dice. You don't need to do the X for the for this goblin. Uh, you can get rid of that because I'm just gonna move him off the stage. It's for dramatic effect. Okay, and that concludes the dragon's turn. The dragon's awake. To those who have lies, which were uh, smart, dumb Gary and Sigmund all saw this. Uh, him instant killing a giant troll. That's pretty neat. <laughs> okay, and now it is dumb Gary's turn. Um. Oh yeah, and by now, I'm just gonna scroll up so you guys can see the rest of the map, and uh, there should be a shiny blue area right here. Up at the top. At the very top. Uh, Gary is uh, terrified. Can he... Uh, oh, Gary's can, born. Does he know if the goblins next Gary, to him are terrified? Know? Sorry, what? Does he know if the goblins next to him are terrified? Uh, they, they, they're not terrified yet. Okay. He's going to ignore that and without disengaging, run 50 feet. Okay, without disengaging, so let me... One does actually land a hit on you. What was his role? 21. Okay. And Gary, he did you know? ends up dealing eight slashing oh. damage. Okay. The other side of the dragon. <laughs> Gary, did you know? Uh, Gary uses his short rest to regain 1d10 plus 4. Uh. No, that's not yes, how you can. do short rest. Uh, no, that's how he uses his oh, second, second win bonus win. attack. You, you, uh, bonus oh, okay, action. okay, second win. <laughs> so he's got 13 health okay. back. Okay. It's like, I was thinking, it's like, I don't think you meant to say short rest. I think you meant to say something else. Gary is at 38 of 40. <laughs> All right. Okay, so by now I should tell you now that you're in, back in the goblin phase, at the very top, again, there should be like a little bit of a blue. Um, between this mark and this mark at the very top, that's a potential exit. If you get beyond the map, be, uh, beyond this exit point, then the monsters will no longer attack you. You're not on the map, which means you are safe. So, just in case you don't think you can defeat all the monsters, that's a convenient exit right there. And if everyone gets beyond that exit, then you have defeated this map. Okay. Back to the goblins. Uh, boy goblin spawn. This goblin moves forward. Attacks Gary. Hits. 
22 hit? It has to. <laughs> it has to. He ends up dealing yep. 7 slashing damage. Okay. And this, this guy moves forward. This guy goes over and he, he he jumps up to see if he can attack Felden. He, he he's trying to get your ankles. He's an ankle biter. Yeah, my ankles. Does a sixteen hit Felden? Yes. It does. Yes. Okay. Oh me, yes, yes, it's me. He deals four slashing damage. Oh. <laughs> this goblin. Hey! Get back! <laughs> this goblin. No, he's mine! And, uh, you know what? They're gonna dash as well to, ca to try to catch up to you. Oh, wrong one. Although they're bumping into each other and trying to prevent each other from getting to you, so the with the outside of range. Like, he's mine! No, he's mine! Mine! And they're no, mine. fighting, I'm betting. They're actively <laughs> fighting each other now, I bet. I'm sorry, I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. This guy's like, it's just a horse. Oh, it's actually, it's like, ah, it's a right. Out, get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy moves forward. It's like, are these out there, out of the way. Goblins, idiots. Oh wait, they are. Well, yeah, of course they're goblins. And that concludes the goblins' turn. We now go to Smart Gary. Flashing and dashing time, or rather Warhammer time. Let's see. First one, thirteen to hit. On the guy right below me. Uh, this guy doesn't have a shield. Yes, he does. It misses. Okay. Second to hit will be a 19. That one does hit. All right. For six damage. He almost died. He's yeah. like, oh, the guy's like, kill him. Kill him. Mom, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's if goblins have a concept of parents. Oh, right. That's sad. Have you ever seen a female goblin before? Uh, no, I think they look similar enough to the male goblins that everyone just assumes the goblins pop out of the They hole. just spring out of holes in the ground, which is, of course, ridiculous. <laughs> it, it, well, I would sit there and think the male and female goblins look so similar that only other goblins could possibly tell the difference. You know what? They're both just equally acting, malformed. He, this guy is visibly dazed. Okay. <laughs> Remember that smart Gary, he looks visibly dazed. Is there anything else you do? You can move if you want to or stay put. Oh, oh that's right. I I I don't I'm not a smart man. Oh <laughs> Yeah. You can that's... The otter. <laughs> that's your whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go over here. And because he stays, he actually doesn't do attack of opportunity. Yeah. Perfect. And now it is Felden's turn. All right. Well. Uh, wait, did that guy die? No. That's a new no. guy. That's a new guy. Stab him. Okay, roll the hit. That hits. Seven damage. He's dead. Excellent. Did you... Um. Oh, 
quickly, Gary. There's no time to lose. <laughs> and then I ride off. Okay. No, 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 no. Um... Just so you know, three of these goblins do not have weapons. This goblin right. is the only... Wait, it helps if I... This goblin is the only one with weapons. Uh, the one in front, the foremost one? No, the one in the back. Uh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Yep, exactly. He's the only one with a weapon in his hand. All right, so I'm going to ride over to him then, and I'm going to use my bonus action to make my pony trample. So that's... Uh, Remember I said, this, when it comes to bonus actions, your three options is dodge, bash, and disengage. All right. And what's no my attack. Pony? Okay. Okay. You can't do a bonus right. action and attack yourself. Yeah, I can. Well, or you attack, not attack yourself. Yeah. And I will do that. I presume a 10 does not hit. Uh, not for this guy. Okay. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Okay, we are now at Sigmund, and he continues to move the horse. One, two, wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And now it is dumb Gary's turn. What about dragon? A uh, dragon's wait, is dragon before you? Dragon's before you. Okay. Um, the dragon turns his eyes towards this, and let me. How do I do cone? Center, call. There we go. Yep, yep, good. Good. Okay. So, every... Yeah, right there. Uh, everyone that's in this square... Not square, that's not square. Everyone in this triangle and this cone which will include Felden, you yeah. feel, keep in mind, you feel uh, a, like a slight burning sensation in the air. And the dragon ends his turn. Okay. It's almost uh, as if he is prepared. You, you can see him moving his mouth and like sparks yeah. forming his mouth. Gary is completely convinced that everybody's ahead of him, and you hear him yelling off in the distance as he continues to Where are you guys? He dashes another 50 feet north. <laughs> Everyone's battling, and Gary's, like, fast-tracking to the exit. Gary has no idea where they are. He's lost, com lost track. He thinks that they are ahead of him. Our best fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> can Chris? Do you mind if I say something out of like out of game to them? What? Uh, any dwarf in his right mind, maybe even a dwarf in his wrong mind, would never fight a dragon. Yeah. yeah. So that's all. That's enough said. Okay. And now we are at uh, Goblin's turns. Okay. These goblins. This one catches up. It's like, no, I got you. Oh, that's a mess. I don't care. I'm not gonna look <laughs> at it. The, the dice went to the ground, so it's automatic miss. Okay. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. This guy catches up. Another one spawns. Another one spawns. And another one spawns. And another one spawns. And another one spawns. Another one spawns. Another one spawns. Another one spawns with us. Pump. Put it out. Pump, pump. And another one spawns. 
Another These guys are like, really? Get back here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Wait a second. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. You know, I'm just going to make them go all the way here. I'm not going to bother because I, I can't scroll up. Oh, he's right there. Okay, he attacks. Uh, does a 19 hit? Ew. Uh, dumb Gary. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. That's a seven slash. Oh, that's not so bad. Oi, where did you come from? We've been chasing this entire time. Oh, no! this, this goblin. <laughs> this goblin goes up to the horse. It's like, you're a funny fuck. What do you taste like? Uh, Bonus action on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> and then these guys. This one moves. This guy's lazy. It's like, ah, you got him. These guys already moved. These guys don't want to attack. This guy does want to attack in response, but he's like, it's getting a little toasty here. And then he, he, he attacks. <laughs> uh, 19, that hits. Yes. He deals uh, four slashing damage. No, and that concludes the goblin's damage. turn. We are now at Smart Scary. Alright. Uh, well, the best way through it is to just hit him, I suppose. Oh, great. The first hit is four. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say critical hit now. Um, the next strike to hit is 11. Yeah. Also a miss. Yeah. Oh. I can't move because that's opportunity attack. So I'm guessing you end your turn? Yeah. Okay. We are now at Felden's turn. It, it feels a little bit, a little bit hot. What are you, Felden? I can command my pony to, uh, oh no, no, I can't leave Gary here. Uh, only one goblin that uh, can do an attack of opportunity, and you can command to bash, disengage, and minutes. that definitely hits. Eight damage. That kills us. Good. Kill the dragon. That was the one that was non-aggressive. <laughs> no, that was the aggressive one. Oh, never mind. The only, okay. I'm going to the come only back down I want to believe you here the to the one that's next to Gary, and I'm going to bonus action attack him. Okay, hold it. Eleven. Oh, okay. Uh, that one misses. God dang damn it! <laughs> it's the ones with the shields. Why do they have shields? Why okay. do they always have shields? Why is the rem always gone? <laughs> and I guess that ends your turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, Sigmund. It's getting good progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. He, he's like looking at the horse, it's like... What? It, it just ignored me. Hey, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to the dragon, and that's when the far, uh, the, the far breath goes out. All of a sudden, this entire area burns. But then the fire goes away, smoldering ashes where the once were three goblins, and uh, now there's nothing. They should have run farther. They should have run. They were all thinking, it's getting a little tussy here. Turn down the music. 
But yeah, not difficult terrain. You, you can walk through this area now. So and that concludes Dragon's turn. It is now Dumb Gary. Uh, Dumb Gary runs to the exit because he can <laughs> dash that far. Okay. And uh, you run to the exit and you see no one is there. Oh, He's got five more feet of movement speed, so he walks over here. <laughs> and, and, and on top of that, with that exit, you can actually see the path before you as you, you, it, it gets over the other side of the mountain pass. And you, there's nothing obstructing your view, and you don't see anyone. Uh-oh! I went the wrong way! <laughs> 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 okay, he's Gary. done. <laughs> Gary takes a short rest and then re enters the battlefield. <laughs> uh, you, you, so I'm guessing you do your second wind. I only get one a day. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I, one, I thought one Smart Gary was talking about himself. I, I thought Smart Gary was saying that about himself. Oh. Because. It's Smart Gary's turn. Yippee. Oh, um, okay. Is it Smart Gary's turn? After all, no, the, uh... no, it's not Smart Gary's turn. It's Goblin's turn. Uh, no, they don't get a turn. They don't deserve a turn. They you know what? They're lazy. It's not their turn. It's Smart they've, Gary's turn. They've been very badly behaved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I know what oh, the problem is. All the problems become a little bit melancholy and they say, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> like, you get rid of that triangle because the dragon isn't doing that anymore. Oh, I was showing you the burned area. Yeah, there's no burned area. You just said it was smoldering. Yeah, it was smoldering, but now it isn't. Are you telling me there's no ashes? The wind blew it away. All the ashes? <laughs> Let it be, man. <laughs> cray, cray. I just, I, I just. Oh wait, the the fog disappeared. I guess. I no, can't do anything about um, that. That's, that's con. Well, I mean, I guess it can, but that's concentration. Okay. Yeah, it is concentration. So, given their melancholy state, am I able to move without uh, opportunity well, action? I, I have not been asking. Have you been doing concentration checks? No. He's taken damage, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Just say he's taken damage three point. times. If he's okay. taken damage, it's down. Well, no, okay. you, you still get concentration checks. Right, but it's a moot point because it would be down. No, yeah. because when you get hit, you do the concentration check. And if you win, you're still concentrating. Yeah. Uh, Never played by that rule set. Okay. Mm. Alright. Anyway, it's down now. Okay. So, based on the melancholy state, am I able to move without uh, causing opportunity attack, or do I have to disengage? Uh, you still have to disengage or kill him. True. I'm feeling disengaged, so I'm going to do that. Do I have to roll to disengage, or do I just... No. Uh, if you disengage, you disengage. Okay. Perfect. Up by the rock. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. It's now Felden's turn. Alright. Uh, I'm also going to disengage. And okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, is that 40? You got one more space you can move. Triangle, mouse, and fancy. Cool. Yeah, I'm just keep following the cart. Dragons okay. don't bring fire in the same place twice, right? <laughs> Never. Uh... Maybe not this turn. I don't think Speaking it's angle of that would help me. Speaking of which, 
The cards. Moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like to imagine that since the uh, troll is still there, it's just a burning husk. And from this angle, dumb Gary does see the head of the horse get past the building. So he, okay. he can see his, he can see the cart in view now. Okay. And now it is Dragon's turn. Dragon. Oh, I can't move the dragon. Return. I, I don't know why you should have control over it. Let's see. Yeah, you do, but I'll give all players control of oh, it. Oh, there we go. Are you he not crispy? Off. Crispy. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm very crispy. Um, <laughs> so is everyone else who has died from the dragon. Oh, okay. The dragon flies down and lands right there. And he... No, actually, no. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and he eats the pony. <laughs> Elden dies. He's too, he, he's too <laughs> close. Uh, let, let me reimagine. Not allowed. That the dragon Chess rules. Once you've let go, you have to commit. <laughs> he, he lands right there instead. And he turns around and he looks at Smart Gary. And licks his chops. Yeah, I like, rock. <laughs> Onimus. Ominous. Omnominous. Omnominous. And <laughs> with that, you three, you, you two, so Felton, Gary, no, actually. Where did it uh, That's from my university of Pizzas. Nope. Okay. I'm just going to skip his turn. We are now at Felton. Felton, sir. All right, cool. Uh, I will once again be casting Fog Cloud, uh, centered on the dragon's head. Okay. And then I am... Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's just like, whatever, who cares? <laughs> did my turn get skipped? Uh, yeah, actually it did. Sorry, Felton. Uh, you go, go ahead and finish your turn, Felton, and we're gonna go back to Smart Gary. Okay, uh, so I've moved, and then as I come up and see the goblin, uh, I'm going to shout, THERE'S A GET OUT OF THE WAY! And Goblin, because okay. I can speak Goblin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Dragon, GET OUT OF THE WAY! I speak again? And he, he's also using a Goblin accent there, too. <laughs> it's a very specific dialect. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is that all you do, or is there anything else you yes. do? No, that's it. Yep. Okay. Smart Gary, your turn. Yippee. Um, let's see. Would, if I moved to, uh... Do special notes. If I moved to, like, there, or rather here, would I be safe from the dragon's gaze? Um... No, wait. No. And the but fog cloud, you right? Will, you... Oh yeah, fog cloud. Yeah, you're, you're safe. Okay, good. So I'm just using dash to get over there. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And then segment. He moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Uh, he's angled, so you can, you can get around him. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's strafing. Uh, you can't get around Drifting him. the cart. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets up on two two wheels. 
dragon just like walks out of it, like looking left to right, and he sees you. He's like, <laughs> clever. And yep. And uh, let me uh, pull out the old uh, Konivu. Oh wait a second. I, I need to move the map first. There we go. The old Konivu. Okay. Now, if we can get a duplicate of that triangle. Okay. Uh, I'll hold this. Is that adequate? Yeah, that's adequate. Uh, everything in that triangle feels really hot. That concludes Dragon's turn. It is now dumb, Gary. Sergwood! Where are the others? Oops. Well, that kind of works. Moves 50 feet. Sergwood! Why did you leave them? <laughs> All right. It's moving. The dragon's moving. Shut up. My, my turn is over. <laughs> I spent my all of my turns basically, except for one, have been dash. The only other thing I've done is dodge. <laughs> okay. You are well, you're you're a born speedrunner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm role playing him having no idea what's going on and also being kind of scared of a dragon, so. I know. <laughs> Goblin. Goblin. You switch back and forth between moving the map and moving the goblins. There he goes, spawn into goblins. Okay, now time to move the goblins. Uh, there's no point in moving these goblins. They're not going to get close to that dragon. They're done. Uh, but not these goblins. These goblins are moving. These goblins are also moving. One, two, three, four. What about my goblin that I was shouting to? Does he get uh, out of the way because there's a dragon? <laughs> the crispy air. The Dorito yeah, Crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. These gods will catch up, but uh, they don't attack. These goblins, on the other hand, they do attack. They're like, oh, wait. This guy comes up and tries to attack the human as he's yelling, Man Flush! That's a mess. This guy goes up. One, two, three, four. It's like, no, this is how you do Man Flush! Does the 16 hit? Yes. I have 16 armor. Uh, so he, he's attacking Felton okay. and deals six slashing damage. Ow. And that concludes the goblin's turns. It is now Smart Gary's turn. Okay. Turn, the dragon is going to burn all of this area. You have goblins in the way, Felton's behind you. What do you do? A quick disengage and going over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you can go around him, then disengage, and then keep moving. Are you sure about that? Like, that, that can yes. literally do that? Yes. Right. So that would count as a disengage. Yeah, and the reason why is because he's actually considered small, so you can literally walk over him. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, then that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is the way. <laughs> That's my turn, I suppose. Okay. Um, wait a sec. You know what? It is what it is. Okay. That is your turn. There we go. 
It is now Felden's turn. Um. Uh, uh, bonus action. Command the pony to disengage. Okay. Okay. And then. Uh, wait. Okay, so that would be. Wait, I can just ride over them. Yep. Just Would that no count trample. as using my trample attack? No. no come on. No. Okay. Maybe. You know what? For fun. No. If they're small. I, I, I rolled a one d twenty just to see percentage, and it was it, it. It was a nine, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I figure we know what happens to them. Oh yeah, you know exactly what's gonna happen to them. Uh. Goblin's turn. They turn around. Wait, is Goblin's turn? No. Ah. No, it's not. It's Sigmund's turn. Yep. So close okay. enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sigmund's free. Wait, wait. Not yet. He's free next turn. Dragon's turn. Yeah, these <laughs> goblins are dead now. So I'm going to move these goblins into this zone. And Just we can delete that. Thing. We can delete that triangle. Uh, easier said than done. Oh. Oh, you Thank did it. you very much. Oh. Uh, I was supposed to roll concentration. That's a constitution. Yes. Twelve. Boxilla. One, Box. two, three. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. What's the moving speed of this guy? Forty. These goblins, okay. my One, friends, are two, friends three, or something. Four, they keep following five, me. Five, six. <laughs> so, oh, wait up, dwarf! We want to join your party. <laughs> The dragon is like walking as he gets around the corner, and now he's like looking at you guys. Uh, Licking his chops, moving his jaw side to side. But he ends his turn. Okay. Okay, I am done, of, done with running. It's time for Great Broom Attack. On Great two. Broom. It's the only prop I have. Ha! And I can't use it because my arm is sprained. So, um, that's the best you're getting. Ha! <laughs> How hard an attack? I'm going to attack the north one, the northmost one, just... with a an 18. That hits. Okay. And damage is 13. That's the most uh, in one time damage so far. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't attack a second time, so that's it for this turn. <laughs> okay. In that case, Goblin's turn. One of the goblins... Oh, okay, it helps if I move correctly. One of the goblins, like, spawns out of his hiding hole. It's like, ah! As he, like, stares right into the dwarf right in front of his, like, ah! He's like, sweet. <laughs> and because he's surprised... He got that one and uh, trips, and now he's prone. <laughs> so yeah, prone goblin in front of you. Uh, this goblin over here on the north end attacks uh, Gary, misses, and Ooh. he disengages to run past you. Past me? Yeah. One, oh, he saw two, what happened to his three, brother. Four, he doesn't five, want the same for six. him. And it's like, don't worry, get out of the dragon! Yeah, the, the, this guy has been chasing after you. He he's he, he doesn't know that the dragon moved. <laughs> and that concludes the turn of the goblins. We go to Smart Scary. Go in the oh, goblin okay. hole! <laughs> Let's make this encounter super long and then and awful for Chris. <laughs> <laughs>
I just oh. run. <laughs> I don't okay. know if he can get away fast enough. The guy is prone, so he has disadvantage on attacks. Just so you know. And you have advantage against him. Oh. Uh, but with a dragon. If you were to, run, if you were to right. run away from him, he has a disadvantage on attack of opportunity. If you attack him, then you have advantage. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take that disadvantage, so we're gonna we're gonna try to go past him. Uh, okay. Two, three, four, five. Let's see what it rolls for. Not one. He okay, falls perfect. into the hole. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna try um I'm assuming I can't just run past this other one that's in front of me, right? But you can run past him, but he does have an attack of opportunity. Right. And that's a wall there. Um, I gotta like use my brain here. That's a terrifying thing. Um. Well, let's see. I don't think I can. Uh, be anywhere across there. So we're just gonna. Uh -huh. this is where my Wait. Is. So you can all. So so your movement isn't ended by your action. So you can run forward, attack the guy, hope you kill him, and then keep running. Yes, but I've already run past oh, using yeah. all of my first speed. So unless I yeah, use dash, it, I can't move further. Yeah. And if he dashes, he can't attack. Yeah. So, I dash is my only option. We're gonna dash to over here. Okay. Yep, that works. Yep. And now it is Felden's turn. A I will bravely ride forward and around the goblin, flashing at him with my swords. The soup has been cooking since two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, uh, 13, he doesn't have a shield, so that hits. Mm. Nine damage. He's dead. Mm. Good. Um, bonus no, action. Was first. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh... Alert, alert dumb Gary of the dragon, I would think. <laughs> yeah, Gary does not know there's a dragon. Gary, where have you been? What have you been ever you looking want... for you? I made some soup, you want some? <laughs> oh, sure, but not right now, there's a dragon after us. Oh, what, dragon? Dragon. What, which know, way do I go? Uh, big lizard with wings. Oh, I know where the dragon is, which way do I go? Oh, I pointed at the cart that way. Oh. <laughs> gotta ask and sometimes. And speaking of which, Sigmund's turn, uh, he gets off the map. At least one of us is going to survive. And falls into the void and dies. <laughs> as, for the, as for the dragon, he, he's slowly waking up and falls up to you guys. And he speaks a little little sentence. Uh, he actually speaks. He's a dragon. Dragon speaks. It's like... Uh, I haven't had dwarf in a long time. Uh, <laughs> Not today! But... <laughs> uh, Let's make it bigger. <laughs> Wider cone. Since he's waking up. I, I did a joke and, and wanted to see what would happen if I ever tried to like roll intimidation against it. And I have like plus five to intimidation. And I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> just for a joke <laughs> with myself. Wow. Never roll for if only I could. Good one. There we go. 
So you, you can yep. still run yep. out of range, but you, you can see that clear line, okay? If mm -hmm. you were to get beyond that line, you are good. I'm going to hold on to this as the dragon concludes his turn. Dumb Gary, your turn. You can, you can, 10, 15, 20, 25, range. 30, 35, 40. No. Okay, there we go. 45. Yeah. Goblin's turn. He six, uh, a goblin sticks his head out to the hidey hole that's behind the dragon. He's like, nope. Put his head <laughs> back down. Goblin ends their turn. Smart Gary, your turn. Okay, fun times, fun times. My measuring tool is my friend here. Uh, quick, a little, a dash. Let's go over to that tile. Perfect. But end of the turn. Too bad Felden can't pick and him up as Felden. he's riding the horse. <laughs> yeah. I would if Speaking I could, which? but I don't think I don't think the pony is big enough. Speaking of which, it's Felden's turn. Okay. Uh, so if my base movement speed is 40, I can dash and do 80, which will Just take clear me. off the map. Yeah. Yep. Leave me. You should, you should do it. You're almost there, Gary. I believe in you. And the dragon breathes on this area, and it all is not... Now it's in flames. That, that entire area is in flames. Dragon <coughs> walks forwards. All right, now that all of my teammates have left me, I get to solo the dragon. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the dragon, like, turns around the corner. He's not, like, right next to you. Um, but the entire area, the rest of the area is, in, is about to go in flames. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm, since it's my turn, I, 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 I get to just... Be cool and leave. <laughs> and that concludes the battle. You guys all have successfully outran the dragon. Yay! Yay. So let's do a head count here because I took down four, <laughs> and I also I also de de like de arms three. So okay, we're gonna do a Gimli versus Legless head counts. Who killed the most goblins? <laughs> Okay. Let's start on the cards as one. Yeah, the the three you scared off. While that was impressive, though that doesn't count as the, they don't count. So I I look here. I killed one. I killed two. I I I, I killed. Two. I think I killed four ish. I think general well, well, DMing, use... like general DMing advice is to say that if you scared someone off from a battle that it doesn't count as a kill but it could be xp bearing if the dm wants it well well here's well, no, the this, thing this is, this the is dragon legal. is the one that actually mm -hmm. killed it so the dragon exactly. has a one two three four five six seven the dragon killed seven monsters that, yes but the dragon mm -hmm. is in front of this conversation <laughs> 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 So here's I like, am the great worm. So no, you're average best. It's kind of pretty oh. low, low level worm, actually. <laughs> so for that uh, uh, auto critical action you've given me, does that stay with me or does that just go away this fight? Just gone. Uh, th that went away. So th the the okay. attempt of that was in case you wanted to raise the shield and the defend the dragon. The against the dragon. That that was the yeah. attempt of that. So you actually could use the shield and protect you from the dragon. I was brainstorming that from session two. Yeah. I saw how the dragon was getting closer to me. I was like, he's planning this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but may maybe what we can do is over the week, uh, look over that video that Dan is going to drop eventually and get a true head count. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I do it. That we know we know who's in last place. Sigmund. Sigmund. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because he was busy. I, I thought you get, got at least one of them. I did, I did get one. I got one. That's right. And it was a one hit kill, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know I if that counts for anything. One turn. Ooh, nice. There was a couple of one hit kills. Nice. Yeah. And uh, should we count the one who killed himself 
as a Felden kill? Mm, no, uh, I don't think so. If, 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 okay, if we're so, not, no, so, we're not because so, <laughs> yeah. So if that's the case, then that means that uh, Dumb Gary is tied with a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tied with an inanimate object for killing something. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but that concludes the session. Uh as per tradition. Let's uh ask each other with regards to prayer requests. Okay, I'll begin. Um with regards to 